It's day five of the BC bike race, and it's gonna be a wet one. So we're gonna take the plane, but first we have to wait in the rain for an hour or so. I was the first in line, so I'm the first on the plane. Plenty of room in there. Hello, I have the manifest. All right, perfect, that's great, awesome. Oh, I'm gonna be the co-pilot. All right, that was worth it. That was totally amazing, awesome experience. I love seeing the land from the air. It's the best. It's 20 minutes to the start and it's feeling pretty hectic right now. I think people just got off the ferry, so they're all scrambling to get their stuff ready. I've been here for like two and a half hours because the plane flight was only seven minutes. So we've been waiting around for a long time, trying to stay dry, trying to stay warm. And now it's time to go. Huh, I didn't know he was a mountain biker. <laughs> two, one, yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, everyone, looking good. Loving these starts. They're, uh, they are owning these starts quite nicely. Respect all on the line so they can go kick it once they go hit the trail. Okay, so the forecast says 90% rain, but it's clear right now. Historically, this has been the hottest course where people are just dying on exposed climbs, so it's nice that it's cold. Or, yeah, it's not that cold, it's just it's not sunny. 59 kilometers, 36 miles. It's gonna be a big one. We're going point to point from Earl's Cove to Seashell. The legs are feeling very, very good. No residual soreness from rest day yesterday. <laughs> it was still a stage, but I took it easy. There's Paul. I'm, I'm one thousandth ahead of you right now. Oh, fuck. Okay, one second ahead. 11 minutes to go to reel in Paul for the race within a race. Gotta try to play to my strengths. And the tough, techie climbs are definitely my strength. And the tough descents. It's where I can make the most time. This stuff, not so much. Oh, it's Neil from GMBN. <laughs> it's Brian, BKXC. <laughs> and he's got the GoPro in his mouth right now. <laughs> Classic. You're doing? <laughs> doing good, man. Welcome. On your left. <laughs> That's great. He's a fast mamma jamma. That's probably the only time I'm gonna see him. Thanks. Oh, oh baby. 
That's all the showing off I'm gonna do today. <laughs> Every time you pass someone, you're actually gaining a lot more time than you think because the next person who has to pass has to him and haw and kind of get ready and find the right spot. So that trickle down effect adds up. I'm getting caught up by a bunch of guys right now and I think it's everyone who is walking on that climb. It's taken them quite a few minutes to actually catch up. Thank you. How do you say really good in Swedish? Yes, they're bra. Yeah, but bro. Yeah, bro. Really bro. Come on, you go. I take it back from you. Okay? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. You're strong, dude. Keep going. You got my respect. 18 kilometers down. 40 to go. <laughs> Yikes. This is pretty nice fire road, actually. Very scenic. Very much feels like we're going somewhere. Yep, go for it. You got it. Got this. Nice. Very humid. Very sweaty. Oh man. He's on me. What's up, Tom? What's up? Oh, I might have ruined the shot actually by saying, hey, Tom, he was the guy, he was the filmer when I was in Bike Park, Wales, riding with Blake. Not a bad time to catch up. <laughs> Good job, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was rough. Definitely trying to turn it on right now because this is the weakness. This is where everybody catches up. On single track, I kill him. Gotta keep stretching it. Damn! <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Gear management. No bear sightings yet. A couple piles of poop though. About halfway through. At two hours now. I feel okay. Slippery. Needless to say. <laughs> Yeah, nice. my favorite YouTube channel. Yeah, same. <laughs> Just hit a little unofficial aid station. That was nice. I think I've got a pretty good air pocket going right now. I should be faster than the people behind me. And the people ahead of me should be a little bit faster as well. Perfect scenario. Man, 90% rain. There's always a 10% chance it's not going to rain. <laughs> yeah. 
That's the magic carpet right there. Wow. <laughs> Coming in hot. Yeehaw, look at this. Wow. As long as there's not mud on the lens. <laughs> Nar! <laughs> it's not just a point to point ride, it's a point to point ride that trends upwards. <laughs> I feel like the duo category is really weird because I see a lot of duos riding single. I got no idea where these people's partners are. And then every once in a while, like you'll see them like, like regroup at an aid station or something. I guess this race just does it differently, but what's the point? If you, you're not within sight of your partner. Yeah, cool. I'll do the purple. Thank you. Oh no, bit of a headwind. Now we're on Frogger. And somebody said this is like an endless climb. <laughs> Pain of pleasure. Thank you. All right. And uh, much respect. Thank you. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Oh man, I almost missed this turn. My head was down as the fire road. It was still connecting, and then I just happened to look up and saw pink. That could have been bad. Bike computer says. 47 kilometers, that scares me, 20 something to go, brutal. Huh, it seems like a lot of mileage and a lot of days back to back makes you tired. I would, I would have thought otherwise. I have to say my hands have not bothered me this whole time I started to feel it just a little bit back there so I had to mention it but my butt's doing okay too still a little bit of pressure when we we're just grinding away for a while but it's more in the middle not on the sits bones Hard to enjoy when every root is trying to kill you. But this is like so beautiful. Uh, climb a little bit. Climb a little bit till you puke your guts. Ooh. Sweat is pouring. I need a rest. Still rolling, still not feeling too bad. Legs are moving. They're hurting a little bit. But I think I'm okay. That's a tight one. Whoa. Let there be light. Nice. <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm glad he took that line. Ooh.
All right. Good job, man. Okay, don't push too hard now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's up, Nick? Oh. oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is enjoyable. Got my buddy 186 up there. softer than it looks. Oh. Whoa! Got launched. All good. <sighs> Had to catch one today. <sighs> yes. Oh, seat post up my butt. Oh, I worked really hard on that, but it was such a, a mental fresh breath of air. Hopefully it's worth it. I can smell the Tim bits from here. Tim Hortons is the local donut place and the donut holes are called Tim bits. People who had previously done this stage of the race, we're kind of hyping it up to be pretty crappy. And uh, I dig it. This was actually pretty solid. I think the weather was the factor that it was perfect riding weather, a little cold, a little wet. Because if that if some of that stuff was sunny, it'd be brutal. But uh, I enjoyed this. I'm, I'm ready to finish though. <laughs> Timbits. Timbit, please. One, two, or three? Ah, uh, three, please. Thank you. What's up, man? That was great. I'm glad we made up that climb. That was ridiculous. I was like, he's behind me, he's filming. I'm gonna do it. I'm not hopping off. It took them minutes, some of those guys, to catch us. Like, it took them forever to get back to us. And they're they're stronger than me, for sure. And then, then you guys were all gone, but that was, that was legit. All right, the bike has been washed and I don't know where I'm going. I'm cold as hell right now. Good, 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 good. Okay, now I gotta go scramble for a tent. Home sweet home. So here's the uh, the post ride look I got going right now. Man, people who had done this race before built this up and built this up and said it was gonna be the hardest thing and ah, it was not that bad. I'm feeling good. I am ready to kick ass. No, hopefully tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna be ready to kick ass tomorrow. So we got a couple hours till dinner and the rain is pouring down right now. I'm safe and dry in my tent. 
Ah, it feels good. So I've still got the whoop strap going strong and well, it's not going that strong because the battery that recharges it isn't recharging it. So when it dies, it dies, but it's given me some pretty good information. So it was saying for today, I was at 86% recovery. So I was primed to perform. I feel pretty good, but my sleep performance was still pretty bad, but you get what you get. So I ended up putting 15 minutes on Paul today, which is a lot, but he had a good excuse, I think. So I don't know if I told the whole story this morning, but we got up super early for the float plane. We had breakfast and then we all got yellow wristbands and we waited out in the rain for a couple hours maybe. And Paul and a, a few of his buddies just went to go find shelter. And I waited first in line in the rain and just hunkered down because I wanted to be first in line. So I think Paul ended up being last in line. So he was the last float plane in and he got there 30 minutes before the start. So he hadn't eaten there. He said he couldn't find the water. I think the water was probably still set up, but maybe it wasn't. And uh, so, oh, that sucks. Cause I, I was cold and wet from waiting. We waited so long that we had that seven minute float plane, which was great, but it was hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of cold and wet sitting around. And, uh, but I was able to get some food beforehand and get that, get some rice crispy treat thing in me and get some other stuff and be ready to go at least. And he was like off the plane, like, Duh, like 30 minutes before start that that's, it's tough. There's a lot to do. So Hopefully he's worried that he's been broken because of getting falling back on his food and stuff. So I think he'll he'll rally. I think he will make it comp competitive and uh, day six and seven, we will have a race within the race. That is a wrap for day five. I just had a nice little dinner. The food on the food plan has been excellent every single day. Had some kind of pork, I don't know if it's pork or beef or whatever on a bun and then some good uh, dessert as well. So, feeling strong. Hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna wake up feeling strong. And uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for day six and seven. Bring it on! Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.